Okay, welcome back. Um, I have been out purchasing a few bits and pieces, as you can see. Um, I've gone with the standard eyelashes that I can get. These are quite reasonably priced, 250 These ones a bit more expensive. Vegan Faux Mink lashes, uh, quite large. Moving towards drag queen size, five pounds. So, a little later, I'm going to double those up. And you can see, I've gone. Going to give the the Max Factor pan stick a try again. This one's, let's see, Cool Bronze ninety seven. So, so I like it fairly dark my skin. I'm going to see how that fares up against uh, the Krylon pan stick that I like. So the main thing that I've gone for today, where you can see these applicators that I've bought. So I've got a regular individual gel um, glitter gel, so it's meant to be glitter gel. Yeah, it's a gel. Yeah, okay. Just needed to jam it around a little bit. So we'll have a little C. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that's going down okay. Quite happy with that. So, but I think and their applicator dropped out. I think what, we're, what I'm looking at trying, so as you can see, I've just bought some straightforward glitter powder and the gel. So it feels like a chemistry class today, back at school. So some gel in there, bucket chemistry going on. So it's just one of these makeup shot glasses that you can get. Using the back end of a brush, give it a good mix. Okay, that doesn't look, the consistency doesn't look too bad. I'll have to redo this a little later because I'm just having a. This is just I'm having to just play with this at the moment. So. Okay. Definitely, that's a good consistency, I have to say. Just out of, just out of just trying. I mean, I've been doing this for years, so I've got a good idea. But that's a nice, solid covering. That's pretty still, that's still pretty good on the, uh, the one out of the, the pre-made one. But, um... Uh, my own little recipe, slightly better. So I'm going to stick those on my face in a little bit, and let's see how that, see how that turns out. Okay, so I've got my makeup to the point where I can finish off the glitter in all areas, as it were. So, as a lot of you know, I do like a lot of glitter. So I've done my lip line, lipstick, but before the glitter goes on, you've seen this probably before in one of the previous videos, so iridescent white. So, usual start.
and it's acting as a base. So the iridescent white will set the lipstick incredibly well, create that iridescent white by lighting that lower and a little bit of the upper as well. Earlier in the, at the beginning of the video, I discussed how I mixed it all up, so nothing's changed. So I've got a little shot glass mixture of glitter. I'm just hoping this doesn't strip off any makeup. So patting it on. Right, same technique of patting it on as your foundation. If I was to do this, it would just end, you end up with just a homogenized smudge. Right, so I'm going to tempt fate and just a very bit of light powder just around the edges, just to seal the lip line and any exposed lipstick. There we go. Very nice. So I did make up quite a bit of a tub with this because I'm doing lower eyelashes. So I've already done the eyeliner. Once this is all on, because as the name implies, glitter fix gel. Just takes a short while for it to set off, so don't go hammering up over makeup over the top of it until it's set off. Good. Tops of the eyes now. Get a big, big dollop of that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the birds are singing out there. It's so sweet. That's probably too much. You can see that's going horribly wrong. I'm liking that. It's Got a good solid coverage on that.
that. So I'm just using one of my lighter brushes just to tidy up the end, the edges. that let's finish off the makeup and I'll see you in a moment and here we are all completed gorgeous and fabulous I'm very impressed with the um, the glitter gels so again drop it bloody hell so the fix gel with the little tub of glitter Absolutely, totally worked. Um, very impressed, and I'll be using that continuously. 